Burning ethanol produces deadly aldehydes by Larry Hartweg, Zedmaster at ZeroEnergyDesign.com. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, says that common aldehydes cause cancer in humans. The European Union has banned the use of formaldehyde throughout all of Europe. In stark contrast, the U.S. Congress subsidizes the production of cancer-causing aldehydes with billions of taxpayer dollars a year. Many U.S. legislators do not even know what aldehydes are, where they come from, or the serious health damage that legislators have mandated. Most aldehydes are very toxic to living things, even at low exposure levels. The term aldehyde is a contraction of alcohol dehydrogenated, which means alcohol with some of its hydrogen removed. Deadly aldehydes are produced when alcohol is oxidized, such as when ethanol from food crops is foolishly burned in the air as a fuel for inefficient gas-guzzling American cars and SUVs. Ingested ethanol clearly causes brain damage, cancer, and liver death. If you drink ethanol, your metabolic processes oxidize it into acetaldehyde, which in quantity over time causes cancer and liver death. This is precisely how baseball star Mickey Mantle died and millions of others. Aldehydes from ethanol concentrate in delicate brain tissues, which contributes to the alcohol buzz while your central nervous system neurons are being killed in large numbers. The cumulative brain damage is called ethanol-related dementia, turning previously intelligent individuals into babbling old vegetables and creating a huge burden on their loved ones. Aldehydes impact serotonin level in brain tissues, immediately causing alcohol depression, major behavioral changes, alcohol withdrawal symptoms, and in extreme cases, deadly violence or alcoholic seizures. Breathing aldehydes from burning ethanol, building materials, etc., provides a direct path from your lungs into your bloodstream and thus to your sensitive liver and brain. When only 10% ethanol mix is added to gasoline, as is commonly done in America, the emission of deadly cancer-causing aldehydes increases 40%. Aldehydes, including formaldehyde and acetaldehyde from burning any type of alcohol or natural gas, which is mostly methane, cause allergic reaction in eyes, nose, and lungs, coughing, difficulty breathing, persistent headaches, deadly cancer, and leukemia, especially in susceptible innocent children and the elderly. Higher concentration of aldehyde exposure increases many bad health risks. Do you want a Congress-created environment where your family is forced to breathe embalming fluid? Brazil burns large amounts of ethanol, but Japan wisely does not. Brazilians are increasingly concerned about ethanol-related health damage. Scientific gas chromatography was used to compare the unhealthy, dangerous levels of cancer-causing aldehydes in Sao Paulo, Brazil, in contrast to the much lower aldehyde levels in Osaka, Japan. Atmospheric formaldehyde in Sao Paulo was 260% greater than in Osaka. Atmospheric acetaldehyde in Sao Paulo was 360% greater than in Osaka. Life expectancy in Japan is 12 years greater than in Brazil. Draw your own conclusion. Insane, corrupt American politicians are unbelievably heavily subsidizing ethanol fuel production for gas-guzzling U.S. SUVs and inefficient cars, which will irrefutably increase American atmospheric levels of multiple deadly cancer-causing life-shortening aldehydes. It is clearly a crime against humanity to divert food crops to inefficient biofuel, but even cellulosic ethanol diverts scarce resources and greatly increases well-known atmospheric deadly carcinogens. Since the mid-1800s, formaldehyde has been used as a biocide, which means life killer a preservative, and for embalming dead bodies to prevent natural biodegradation. Formaldehyde cumulatively kills living cells, quickly or over time, depending on exposure level. Most aldehydes are chemically reactive organic compounds that bind to and thus damage DNA. 
mutating living cells and causing cancer. Formaldehyde irreversibly cross-links protein amino acids, which produces the hard flesh of bodies embalmed with formaldehyde. Do you want U.S. Congress pork barrel ethanol subsidies to force your grandchildren to breathe ever-increasing amounts of what the USA EPA says causes cancer in humans? The European Union wisely banned all use of formaldehyde throughout Europe. But in stark contrast, corrupt, inept, bipartisan U.S. politicians provide huge subsidies for aldehydes in America. Seven billion dollars for ethanol research and development. World's largest ethanol production subsidies, which were increased to a dollar and one cents per gallon by the corrupt 2008 Farm Bill. FEMA homes for displaced disaster victims that have ten times the safe limit of deadly formaldehyde in them. American taxpayers must now pay for the valid formaldehyde lawsuits against the incompetent FEMA and additional aldehyde related health care costs. The FEMA Accountability Act deals with many of the crimes committed by FEMA, but the Bush administration FEMA criminals that created and covered up their bad violation of EPA restrictions are still being paid by taxpayers. Where is the public outrage? We must take action against government sinister evil. There is no safe level of formaldehyde. It is now illegal to use formaldehyde anywhere in Europe. U.S. Congress and Bush administration all but ignore European Union formaldehyde science and what our own USA EPA says about how formaldehyde causes cancer in unsuspecting American families. We must make all uses of formaldehyde illegal. We must also make it illegal to burn ethanol from any source in any way that emits any aldehydes. We must stop subsidizing deadly aldehyde insanity. In closing, please consider this similar U.S. federal government stupidity. America used to use Freon, hydrochlorofluorocarbon, as a refrigerant for air conditioning and for food storage systems. When DuPont's Freon patent ran out, they claimed that their own Freon was depleting our protective ozone layer, which is a scientifically obvious lie, since hydrochlorofluorocarbon is heavier than air. The U.S. Department of Energy thoughtlessly banned the use of Freon without considering the predictable worldwide impact it would have. DuPont immediately patented a more expensive, less effective Freon replacement, which the corporate puppet Department of Energy obediently supported. It is now well known that the expensive nationwide conversion from DuPont's Freon refrigerant to DuPont's HFC 134A that is used today emits a bad greenhouse gas, accelerating the impact of man-made global climate change. The DOE-mandated 134A cure is much worse than the contrived Freon disease ever was, and we must now invest huge resources to eliminate 134A. The unprecedented congressional subsidy of ethanol and deadly aldehydes is a much dumber pork barrel political crime against American families than 134A. We cannot continue to allow our lobbyist-controlled bad government to ignore science. No nation that has continually and repeatedly ignored the obvious has ever survived for long. Please contact your elected representatives today before they do even more ethanol and aldehyde damage to your family. See our other constructively critical YouTube zero energy design videos.